picked up a new tech toy a couple weeks ago and finally getting around to review it. This is the SVP tablet PC, Android based. Uh, this was available on buy.com. The retail price was $200 and it was on sale for $79.99. And there was a $20 off any computer coupon the day I bought this, so I figured for $50 bucks, an Android tablet, why not? Um, simple packaging. This is model TPC0754. Uh, the description said models can vary by model number, so you're pretty much taking a wild guess when you buy these and which model you're going to get because I think there's four or five different versions. Basic box. Inside the box is the tablet. You get a charger and a USB to USB micro adapter for charging and docking and syncing to your computer. This is the charger. It kind of looks like the D2 pad charger that I've seen a couple people had. It's really chintzy and hard to put in the tablet and kind of a pain in the ass. Um, this thing weighs nine and a half ounces. It's got a decent plastic screen. Uh, the body's metallic gray. It's not. It's got some sharp edges. It's not the greatest. Um, you can see their nice big branded sticker SVP made in China. Here's your speaker. It does accept SD cards. This particular model only had a one and a half gig worth of internal storage. Um, volumes up and down. There's your headphones, your power button, your power jack, your USB jack. And some of the models do have, I think, mini HDMI out. Mine doesn't. There's your mic port. Uh, it does have a front-facing camera that I don't even think is one megapixel. It's horrible. Um, boot time is like 45 seconds. Here's the standard uh, splash screen. This is running Android 4.0. This does include Adobe Flash, so you can browse Flash pages. Um, it says Google Play. came with Angry Birds and Fruit Ninja. I put Triple Town on there. The screen works pretty good. Um, the one major downfall is the battery life on this thing kind of completely sucks. If you don't turn this off and fully charge this, completely charge, then you just let it sit idle with Wi-Fi going and, and shut everything else off. Um, I got one day and ten hours before the battery was completely depleted on, on a single charge. Um, I've gotten four or five hours of random use out of it using Wi-Fi. I did have to turn the uh, screen brightness down to like half, a little le way less than half. It's still pretty readable, so it's not bad. Um, you can do Google Sync with the, sync your Google Gmail account. Um, the main plus, I think, is it has the Google Play Store on it. I was my plan to use this thing for is the GoPro app for controlling my GoPro, so I don't have to always worry about bringing my phone or something. I can just bring this with me. It's got a nice big screen on it. Um, I'll post up the specs for the hardware and the in the description. I think it's got like a one gigahertz processor. 512 megs of RAM. Um, this is definitely not anything near your mainstream quality for tablets. I would probably buy this for like a kid to use or somebody just getting into the tablets, like a maybe a grandparent or something that just kind of wants one to try one. Um, the Wi-Fi works pretty good on it. I haven't had it drop Wi-Fi at all. Um, one thing I noticed about the SD card is I mounted it and it took like a minute and a half for it to uh, actually recognize that I plugged an SD card into it. Um, this is another thing every now and then, like I start Triple Town or something and you don't see any of the uh, path or anything. Restart the tablet and it's fine. I don't know if that's an Android thing or this tablet, but like I said, this thing cost me 50 bucks. Definitely not worth the retail price of 200 uh, sound quality is okay on it.
kind of have to put your hand behind it if you really want to hear things. It does have the uh, voice operated commands. Search dog. Well, so other than that, uh, not a great buy unless you want it for somebody that doesn't have a tablet and just wants one to play with. Have a good one.